10 dumb points in the comments. I've done quite a few videos now, on this channel and elsewhere. I've stirred up a little bit of controversy with some people. Yes! You got Not today, bitch! You're a socialist! Now, you might think this was a response to a political video. I don't make many political videos. It was in fact in response to a con man who claims to channel aliens. He claims to be possessed by an alien spirit when he falls into a trance. This person makes a lot of money fooling people about this. As a result, I must be anti-capitalist. I must be a far left socialist. But of course socialism isn't a dirty word and how they've used it is incorrect. But of course they don't want a discussion, otherwise they might have to think about the facts. Get your shit together! Get it all together and put it in a backpack! All your shit! So what? People type that. They type underneath various videos, so what? As in, so what if it's true that someone's a scammer? So what if it's true if someone is an abusive cult leader? So what? Well, maybe it's more important than you realise. And a lot of the time when people do this, it's in regard to a guru who's making a lot of money. So they end up with a rich guru, like Osho. They basically say, well, so what if he was having organised sex sessions and forcing, well, heavily influenced, manipulated young people into these sessions, as well as a variety of other practices encouraging them to give away their possessions or sell them and give their life savings to the guru and organization. So what? What's the harm? It's denial in a way. Fuck off! Fuck off! Fucking fuck off! You fuck! It's my choice. And they're right. It is their choice. And this argument very often comes up in regard to vaccines. People say, no, vaccines are dangerous because they believe David Wolf or perhaps Jenny McCarthy or whoever. And, and they accept the argument that vaccines are bad because they contain chemicals that they don't understand or are afraid of. Or they hear that, oh, there's mouse brain in a vaccine. That means it's some kind of crazy witchcraft. When in actuality, there isn't a problem with the vaccines. There's a problem with people thinking that they know more than they do. You question that, you might point out some of the errors that they have. And in the end, the only real argument they have is that it's their choice. It's their children receiving the vaccines. It's they who might well go for medical attention for other reasons and might reject certain modern medicine. Very often anti-vaxxers or anti-big pharma. And as a result, very often anti-modern medicine in certain key cases. It's worth saying, so what if it's your choice? I'm simply making sure you don't make a massive mistake which may well affect your health or the health of those people you love. I gotta get out of here! I gotta get out of here! How much does CCP pay you? Now you may wonder, what is CCP? Well, it's the Chinese Communist Party. Because I've criticised several groups which aren't popular with the Chinese Communists and I've actually criticised Communism and indeed the Chinese Communist regime on several occasions. And yet when I criticise a group which believes that its main enemy, its, uh, its great enemy, is the Chinese Communist Party, anyone who criticises them must also be uh, supported by them, paid by them, or whatever the case may be. They can't imagine that there are better reasons than merely vendettas and propaganda for a person to, well, criticise a belief. For example, a belief with a divine guru who is a source of ultimate knowledge. Apparently criticising that you must be a communist, or you must be a paid shill. Pure nonsense. And really what they're saying is, they don't want to have a discussion. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please? It isn't true. Yeah, they usually say, 
It isn't true. It just isn't the case. It's not so. They're claiming that you're producing propaganda, accepting propaganda, or whatever the case may be. But in a comment, it's so much easier just to say, not true, false, I don't have an argument. And you question them, and they respond, and they just respond in the same vein. No argument. They have no argument. No willingness to discuss. If something is not true, it should be explainable. Not that I'm saying that I have the perfect facts, because I don't. Because who does? But simply saying, it's not true, tells us very little. It's a useless comment. I have killed one of God's most innocent and intelligent creatures. And I liked it. That means nothing. And the claim is, that's something you've said. You could make an hour-long video. I, I don't make very many long videos. But you could make a video that's quite long and talk and explain in detail. It means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. Oh, you've got evidence that uh, a particular guru has had acting lessons. And that's why he falls into a trance and acts a way that he's been trained. Because he's had acting lessons. Oh, well, that means nothing. Oh, right, you have a spirit medium and psychic who trained as a magician. Oh, that means nothing. And the list goes on. You have people who are in denial of the errors in the beliefs that they hold dear. And they'd rather say it means nothing than admit that it might mean something. Retard alert, class! Shut up. You have people who say, shut up. An emotional outburst. For no good reason. They don't want to admit it's even a discussion. Or it's even worthy of discussion. Because surely a comment section, without, you know, blocking people, preventing people from talking, is meant to be for discussion, at least in some cases. But instead some people just go, shut up. In fact, there was a case with some comments on an AJ Miller video. A video I did about this uh, Australian... Uh, Jesus character and you just had a person leaving comment after comment after comment saying shut up and that's it I mean you don't want any form of discussion whatsoever I think it's a valid question no! No! you're so narrow-minded and ignorant now I hear variants of this particular statement you're close-minded, you're not open-minded, uh, you're negative. Uh, ignorance is optional. Uh, sometimes they don't say ignorant, sometimes they say arrogant, or they say, um, they, they might suggest that you are indeed ignorant, but in the end, all they're doing is simply barking out a statement because you disagree. So rather than saying, well, you're narrow-minded and ignorant, and here's why, they say, you're just narrow-minded and ignorant. That's it. You're narrow-minded. Why? Or how? You're ignorant. How? Without filling in those gaps, it says practically nothing. Kapla! This is slander. This is libel. This is abuse. These are the things that people say as an outburst. It makes very little sense. They're saying it's slander, or libel, or abuse, but legally, having an opinion, criticising a point of view, pointing out a few errors, a few mistakes, or even major issues, isn't slander, isn't libel, and isn't abuse. They make out, for example, that if you're making one video, it's harassment. People are strange things. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shill. Because apparently, if you're not with them, you're against them, and you make a video which any schmuck could make, apparently that means that you're paid by the government. You're paid by the CIA or FBI, MI5, MI6. You're paid by some evil regime. You're paid by the Chinese Communist government, the Saudi Arabian royal family, 
or whatever the case may be. Because you're questioning this massive conspiracy, you're questioning the one true belief, you're questioning a very important issue, and therefore, you must be an agent. Ooh. Get your shit together!